Welcome to Missouri Star Quilt Company's Beginner Block Series. Today we're going to be making a block called the fence rail. There's other names for it, but it's most commonly known as a fence rail. You make this block with two and a half inch squares. I mean, sorry, with two and a half inch strips. Now these strips aren't very coordinating. They're just strips we had here in the shop so we can show you this block. But for coordinating strips, it's this, this is the same size as the jelly roll. You can sew them together. These jelly rolls are just marvelous. They're, they're what they call pre-cuts, and they come a whole fabric line so that you can see, so that everything blends and everything goes together. This is one of my favorites. It's just so bright and happy. But anyway, what we're going to do now is we're going to cut these. We cut, we've already cut these four strips, these four pieces of fabric into two and a half inch strips, and we're going to sew them together. I like to keep my black to the out or my dark stripe to the outside or to the inside. It doesn't really matter where, but it matters that you're consistent with it. Again, we sew these strips together. We'll sew two together first, and we're sewing it on the quarter of an inch seam. When you're sewing long strips like this, it's really important to keep your quilt balanced that you sew one direction on the first set and the opposite direction on the second set, and I'll show you just what I mean. All right, now we're going to press this strip open. We'll set the seam and then press it. When you're doing a row of strips, you want those, all those seams to go in one direction. Let's, now we'll sew the other strips to it, but what we're going to do is we're going to sew the opposite direction. So if we finished going this way, with the next strip, we're going to lay it over here, and we're going to sew it this way. This will keep your quilt from becoming bowed in the middle. There, that's so nice and pressed. Back at the ironing board to iron our last strip on. Now I would never use these colors together, but for the uh, for this demonstration, it enables you to see them really well. So now we have what is called a fence rail. Now if you'll come with me over to the cutting board, I'll show you what to do next. Now you're going to lay these out on your cutting board, and you're going to measure how tall they are. So we put our ruler up here, and we see that this is 8 inches. So what we're going to do then is we are going to measure this 8 inches in so that our blocks are square. That's a really important tip. So here's our first 8 inch block. And here's our second. Now if we use longer strips, we, could, we would be able to do this really, uh, this is, this strip quilting is very fast and if we used longer strips, you can get five or six strip sets out of one, uh, out, out of sewing at once. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Don't put my counting on either. All right, now we have our two blocks sewn. So now when you put them together, you can put them together so that your stripes run this way and then every row it'll make a design that's called fields and furrows. You can lay these all different ways. And they just, it, it's just a really easy, fun quilt with these. Now I'd like to show you some pictures of some other quilts that you can do with this same pattern in this fun little book we have here in the shop. It'll just give you some ideas. And called Bars of Gold. And you can see that what they've done is they've sewn their strip sets together and cut them and put a border in between and it's just the same thing you just sew those little strips together they also call these coin quilts if the strips are uh, a little bit shorter here I'd like to show you another one this book is full of ideas but these two really represent that uh, really represent the the fence rail very well Look at this cute little bag. Just all the strips sewn together, one after the other after the other, and it just makes a darling little bag. 
Well, this book we got in the store, and it's called Jelly Roll Quilts, and it's by Pam and Nikki Lintot, and it's just been a wonderful book full of good ideas. But basically, now you know the way to make a fence rail, and so you can just let your imagination run wild. Thank you for joining me today on Missouri Star Quilt Company's Beginning Block Series. Happy quilting. book is called Jelly Roll Quilts and it's by Pam and Nikki Lintock. Lintock. This book is called Jelly Roll Quilts and it's by Pam and Nikki Lintock. And it's just, and it's, and, wait, 